Okay, so I've batched the um, Remington Hollow Point Subsonics, which are very popular and cheap in the UK. I would have batched them into three, but there was a lot of spread, so four weight, I batched them into five. Oh, these are, there's about 400 here. Um, slightly underweight, on par, which I set at 50 grains. Slightly above, slightly, slightly above, quite a bit above. And the absolute extremes, I culled. So uh, I will test them and we will see how they go on paper. I've also got some unsorted ones in here, which I know can be magic or really quite rubbish, um, hence the sorting. Okay, here we go. Hammering down with rain, but you get used to it. I've got a big hat. You can see here some of the uh, random groups I'm getting with the unsorted ammo. Have a look at that one. And then how, after shooting that, can you then shoot that? Again, tight. Oh, look at that one. And then the next five shots do that. So, it can clearly be accurate in my gun. But we've got to work out which parts of the, uh, which parts of the charge, as it were, which parts of the weight range and uh, sorting range are the most accurate. And that's what I'm testing today just on weight today. You can sort by rim thickness, which I've found to be useful at trimming the groups up at uh, longer ranges. Obviously the bullet's got to fundamentally go well in your gun. There's no point sorting a load that is inaccurate in your gun. But it could be useful sorting ammunition that goes well but is inconsistent. So that's what I'm endeavouring to do today. So just before I put the uh, new target up for today, I thought I'd show you them. You've got groups like that, and groups like that, and you've also got things like that, which at 50 yards is not good. So, top left and the one next to it, five shots underweight, um, unsorted, okay, Remington. So, unsorted, unsorted, 50 yards. Then, underweight, okay, two shots of underweight, two shots of on weight, which is 50 grains, and then these are getting into slightly above the mean, starting to tighten up there. And also, I pulled one shot on this target, um, we're not there yet, but I'll tell you which one it is. Then um, this is plus plus. Okay, that's the one I pulled. So that is definitely tighter than that lot, for example, or that. Okay, and then plus plus plus. I don't think that was the best mount, but there you have it. So averages, I would say that the Sorted ammo is more accurate, or as accurate, generally, plus, whichever batch you shoot, plus, on the um, slightly heavier than average side of things, you got better groups. There, and there, especially when you bear in mind that I pulled that bottom one. And as you get into mega heavy, it's starting to go off again, I think. Now, I'll double check all this. But I would conclude from that, that it is worth batching the ammo. It is worth shooting plus and plus plus, which um, I know what that means on my scale, put it that way. It, as this is plinking ammo, I'll put all the rest into a plinking tub. But I know that plus and plus plus, that fly looks like a hole, go away. Um, it is better.